How are we going, fellas? In the inmates, we look for people that have got a bit of caring personality and a bit of compassion in their, in their outlook on life and to other people. How are they going? Yeah, he's going very well. Obedience-wise, uh, obviously pretty good, Bill. Uh, not too bad, a bit boisterous at times. <laughs> Watching the dogs in these early stages almost reminds me of those first few weeks at, at school where they're all trying to sort each other out. There's a bit of wrestling, trying to establish who's in charge, who's the boss. But you start to see their personalities come through at the same time as well. You're getting worn down, though. They yeah, must need plenty of exercise. Dig, dig, dig a lot of holes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to dig out of here, right? You'll see them. <laughs> never thought of that one. <laughs> you could be onto something, eh? I'll tell the guys over here. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. You could be very valuable. <laughs> Normally in the clinic, it's see that there's a similar level of, of trust and care with a pet and the owner. Here it's different. It, it, it's really ramped up. There's, there's almost total dependence in here. That's his word. <laughs> his word. Have it. Just have it. There you go. <laughs> Self-medicating. That's pretty unusual. <laughs> yeah. And you're seeing the, the, almost the, the dog leaning on the inmate for help, but the inmate leans on the dog just as much for that emotional connection. Yeah, he's got a little bit of a limp, but I think he's done that in enclosure on the weekend playing with the other dogs. Oh yeah? Yeah. So what, limping on the front legs? Yeah. The funny thing about these pups is when they're playing, when they're running around, you don't notice the subtleties. And when Mark said that Yoshi's been limping on that left paw, my heart sunk. Because if that is a developmental problem like elbow dysplasia, that's the end of the program for Yoshi. He can't continue, he will not be an assistance dog. And for Mark, that would just be beyond heartbreaking. He's gonna help some poor bugger out in a wheelchair, and that's what I'm looking to help, to make life better for somebody in a wheelchair. Let's go, let's go. Good boy. There you go. Come on, mate. Yeah, Yoshi uh, is my mate. Up. Oh. Yeah. It means a great deal. I can't put oh, it into words. These dogs, they don't judge them. To them, they're an owner, a companion, a mate, someone they trust and someone they believe in. And they can really lean on each other and, and have a, a great bond with no conditions. He's a good boy. Yeah, he is. Good boy. The feeling is... Um, it's stupendous. It's, it's, it's really good. Uh, it has me glowing inside. I'd really feel now uh, I'd be lost if I don't see him for a day or two. It's a good boy, eh? Damn. He's going along okay. He responds to that. Imagine being that person that has to tell Mark, his new best friend, his shining little bit of light in that prison, had to be taken away from him. I couldn't do it. When I started looking over Yoshi, even though I never liked to see pain, to see just that slight little wince he gave when I twisted his wrist around, it seems to it seems to resent it. It was a good thing because that indicated a sprain, which is treatable with rest and with anti-inflammatories. It'll get into his system and reduce the inflammation in that wrist joint, okay. take away the pain, yep. the soreness, yeah. and the swelling. Yeah. And by doing that, you should notice that in those mornings, he's a lot more free and easy and can run around. Oh, that'd be no good. worries at all. But to get the effect, he does actually have to swallow it, which might take some time. <laughs> oh, you've done it. Well done. Oh, good boy, Yoshi. Sit. Sit. Good talk. Not bad, Bill. No, too bad. It's all right. You can understand Scottish as well. <laughs> it does two languages. <laughs> it's, Bilingual. It's a high IQ. <laughs> <laughs> so what, is, what, is he, what does it mean to you to have him in here with you? Uh, it's just tremendous to have, have uh, another an animal in here. Or some, something you can love, yeah. you could say, because there's not much love in jail. Mm. And if the inmates hear me saying this, they'll laugh at me. <laughs> It's, it's brilliant having a the dog there. Mm. It gives you purpose when you're waking up in the morning too, of course, because the first thing you do, you get up and you say, right, I better take him for a walk. Yeah. It's, it's like a mother with her children. Yeah. You know, I mean, she, it's, they enjoy it, but it's, it is hard work. Get in the car. This lot of inmates, this will be the first time they've left the centre to um, mingle with the public, with the pups. Oh yeah, it's on your mind the whole time you're out. 
that you know something may happen. Um, God forbid that one of them tried to do a run of it. Um, no, really, they're all pretty good. So, no, Bill. Yeah, Bill is very disappointed that he's not able to come, particularly with it being our first outing. But Bill's 6.2, which is what he has to have signed off by the commissioner, hasn't come through yet. So he understands that these things have got to be done, and he's quite happy for Brett to step in in his place. Yeah. Hey, Biosha goes all right. Yeah. He's not too frightened and intimidated be, by the children. Yeah. It'll be good to see how they go with the kids, actually. Yeah. How yeah. they all want to yeah. get in there and touch yeah. the pups and that. It'll be yeah. good. Yeah. yeah especially because yeah. That car trip was something else. We're driving along. Cat the whole time's worried there's going to be some sort of mass breakout. But all the while, I was just totally absorbed in the fact that Mark had never been in a car that had electric windows before. Press button windows up there, not the old handles up and down anymore. Yeah, yeah I tell you what's um, blown me away. They the, uh, the radio and that. Yeah. 20 years ago, they weren't like that. No. I mean, she's worried he's going to run away. He wasn't going anywhere. He'd never seen anything like this before in his life. And when you think about it, it's, it's mind-blowing to think that that's 21 years without being in a car. I can't, just can't imagine that. Yeah, I love the forests. Love seeing the pine trees. I've been down here before mowing lawns and stuff, but I haven't been here uh, with the dogs, so it's the first time I've been out. So the kids will have a thrill anyway. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hello. Because the inmates come sort of on a monthly basis to do our lawns, um, the children are all aware of the fact that they are inmates from Kirkconnell, um, all very accepting of them and um, love the fact that they bring the dogs along. Come on up and meet the children and come on, introduce them to the dogs. They just love them and love the boys bringing them down. We're now in the process of trying to organise sponsorship of one of the pups in Kirkconnell. Yeah, Yoshi, speak, <coughs> speak. Ah, uh, you're chagging. <laughs> <laughs> speak, boy. Yoshi, speak. <coughs> Good boy. Good boy. Speak. <laughs> They're always very polite and very concerned about the children and doing the right thing in the school. Good on you. Give this lady a gold star. <laughs> <laughs> Just be gentle, kids. You don't want to, you don't want to overwhelm the dogs. He's nice and shiny, Eddie. He's a good boy. That was precious. I mean, you can't put a price on that. I know the do uh, the children love the dogs, so, and because of that, it made me feel good. It was like a father with his son, or something like that, in the first football game when he scores his first try. So, yeah, it was good. <laughs> the school trip was very special just to see those kids so absorbed in those puppies just shows you the amazing power of animals but they didn't even notice there were two inmates in their room to them the fact they were from a prison did not matter one little bit they were these magical people that were training these dogs to do these incredible things for an incredible purpose that was all that mattered and that was great Come on, come. Come, Yogi. Come, come on in. Come on in. Good dog. Come on in, son. Yes, see, that's a good dog. Yes, he's a good dog. Good. Yes. Regret not seeing Yogi's big performance in his first outing? Yes, I did actually. I was walking round there lost, round the oval. <laughs> sort of, you know, but it was, it was, yeah, considering it's a big day for everyone mm. here today, yeah, it was quite. I missed him for a, an hour. <laughs> I heard he was the star of the show. Uh, he was outstanding. <laughs> I don't think so. Rushy, <laughs> <laughs> wait. Wait. I look at these dogs and uh, you know you can't help but wonder which is going to be the one that makes it. Nah. And Yoshi. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I don't Come know on. about Yoshi. Good boy. Good boy. I think Ziggy's a bolter. I think Ziggy's he's got the looks. Somehow he might even have the brains as well. Shake. I love him though. He's my little mate, you know. From sad I can just cuddle up to Ziggy, I can you know what I mean? He's there for me and I'm there for him. Can't hear. 
Yes. Good boy. Well, this time I'm not going to say I'm not going to stay out, but um, I'm going to definitely try my hardest. I want to stay out for the freedom and the, I'm going to get my own pup and that when I get out. So, um, yeah, it, make, it makes me want to stay out. Oh, to say I'm over the moon with it is probably, you know, understating it. The, the guys are incredible. The, the benefits to all, all the inmates, the staff and everybody, it's, it's really great. And then to know that the benefits flow on to members of the community, it gives everybody a real, real buzz. Yuki, go to bed. It's sad to be in a place where people are, I guess, down. Close the door. But you've got this little pocket of happiness, little pocket of hope that these dogs provide. It has me thinking about the wrongs that I've done in the past. Um, it has me feeling that I have contrition. It, it makes life uh, that much better, like when he puts his head on my uh, chest. I give him a good pat and I say, he's a good mate, you know? He's a good boy. You're a good boy, aren't you, hey? Every time I come here, I, I guess I leave with a fairly mixed bag of emotions. I, I, the three dogs that mean the world to everyone in here, it, it's, it's fantastic. Jeff, isn't it? Yeah, mate. How are you? Chris, how are you? Good, mate. Good. Mate, come straight up here. What's his name? James Buddy. Buddy. How old is he? Yeah, it'd be nearly six months, five and a half months. So just explain what's what's happened tonight. Mate, I don't know. <laughs> Look, just, he just came into the lounge room. Yeah. He um he just started to lay down and scratch his face. Yeah. And um then started kicking his back legs, starting to spasm. Yeah. And then he, you know, he just wanted us. He just came and, you know what I mean, just laid on us. As if to say, you know, I'm sick and that. Yeah. And that's it. When I got in the car and he started, um, started slobbering. Yeah. Like a little clear runny slobber. Yeah. And then that's it, mate. His face just went warm like that all in, in a matter of two or three minutes. And his eye, see his eye? Yeah. His eye's gone all, um, look at the colour in his eye. Like it's all red and going up. Yeah. Because that's not, that's a bit swollen, but you can see the colour difference in the eye, obviously. And his lip is like... That's huge, isn't it? It's massive on both sides. I feel that. Yeah. It's all right, mate. He's distressed. He's having big trouble getting his air in. This looks like the classical signs of an allergic reaction, and we need to stabilise him and do it very quickly. I just want to check him over just for the signs. He looks like he's in anaphylactic shock at the moment, okay. which is basically a severe allergic reaction. Yeah. And my mother-in-law found a wasp, a tiny little black wasp with a brown body on the oh, kitchen really? floor that was dead. Yeah. And you were saying he was, he was gurgling a bit, or he was? Yeah, he was just like slobbering. Yeah. You know, like, and then panting. Yeah. But um, and that's about it, you know. Like I just tried to ring everyone, and then I just got onto you, and I just jumped straight in the car, mate, and come buddy, straight buddy, up. Buddy, buddy, you got to be good for us, okay? It's all right, buddy. I'm in, mate. It's okay. Come it's okay. Good for us. It's all right, mate. I'm in. Just yeah. calm down. Buddy's gone into what we call anaphylactic shock. Now, if that reaction is severe enough, his airways will constrict. If that happens, he won't be able to breathe at all. Can I just get used to holding yeah. him there? I can. I just want to check his airway and just step to the level of swelling around the back of his... It was scratching his throat. Yeah. But... I mean, it's like, it's like a human... A human that has a, say, okay. bee sting it's allergy. All right. It's alright. Oh, mate, it's alright. Come on, mate. Oh. It's okay. Just listen to his, um, his chest. Come on, buddy. It's alright, buddy. Come on. He's only helping you, mate. His heart rate's really high at the moment. Yeah. Can you put anything into him to stop the reaction or something? We can, can give him some medication. We've just got to identify how severe it is, which will base how much medication what, what medication we use. Does he have any, any known allergies to any, any foods or medications or any treatments like that? We're feeding mints, um, like um, we boil spaghetti. Yeah. And we just have like mince and spaghetti and so we put corn in it and vegetables and yeah. mainly then we just get the, the, the puppy dry food yeah. and we just give him some of that as well and yeah. mate he eats our food like bones and that we give him bones yeah. and we haven't given him anything different to eat right. today. So he's never had any reactions of any sort like no, this before? No, no. he's been total so healthy mate. He's never, he, I've, I've, he's just been perfect though, like look wise. Yeah. Exactly the same all the time. Right. Really healthy and that never changed. 
Yeah. They might just get a temperature on him. He, yeah. <coughs> he obviously feels quite hot at the moment. Yeah, he does. Yeah. All right, Jeff, his, his temperature's a bit high. It's at 39.5. So, <coughs> look, that would fit in with a, some sort of anaphylactic shock. So, okay. basically, his whole immune system's on overdrive. It's sensed that something's not quite right. Okay. And everything's been kicked into action and, and he's feeling a bit hot. Right. And that would explain why he's quite agitated. Yep. I'd like to give him an antihistamine, also a cortisone injection, to right. try and basically null out his immune system. Now, the first injection's easy. It's just going to go underneath the skin here. Yep. Right, I'll just hold his head there. Just gonna go in here. Yeah, buddy. Just relax, buddy. You feel that, buddy? Just gonna clip up the vein and, and try and get intravenous access. Just go, oh, you steel eyes. Yeah, no. Far out. The, the thing about these drugs is that they work well subcutaneously underneath the skin, but they do work a lot better in the vein. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But if we can just give it a go, it'd be great. If I can just get your thumb to do that. Okay. That's all I need you to do. Just put it in, mate, because he wants to stay still. No, we can't go too quickly. <laughs> oh, right. All right. Great, buddy. Thank you, mate. Just keep calm there. The worst case scenario is we can't reverse the effects of the allergen. Okay, we're almost done. And in that situation, then his airways begin to constrict, and we're going to do our best to try and reverse that right now. If I just have a listen to his chest here. Sounds like he's starting to take deeper breaths here, which is good. His heart rate slowed down a little bit, which implies he's a bit more relaxed. Yeah. Trying to give the um, missus a call and give her an update. <laughs> darling? Yeah. He's fine, darling, he's fine. He's, um, he's been bitten by probably that wasp. Just checked his breathing, his breathing's fine. He's coming can back to normal. Some kind of, like, you know how kids have shots to protect themselves? Can you be given something so that if it happens again, that doesn't happen? It's like, I guess it's like a kid with either a peanut allergy or a bee allergy. All you can really do is, is just be on hand, watch him where you can, but the moment you see any sort of swelling, just obviously give, give me a call and we'll, um, <laughs> we can give him the medication. Well, I'm sure. <laughs> He's, he's, fine, he's looking at the phone wondering why he can hear mum but can't see her, so... Oh, home with his little girl. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but don't worry, he, he looks like he's going to be okay. Thank you very, very, very much. I'm very relieved. Alright, no worries at all. Bye. Thanks, bye. So, right. Mm -hmm. well, hopefully he's smart enough not to go near it next time. Yeah. The one word of warning is that just like people, the first time the immune system sees it, it, it freaks out. The second time it sees it, it really, really reacts and okay. overreacts. And you can often get a, a bigger reaction second time around. Okay. But at the same time, you just hope that he's learned a lesson from this as well. Yeah. And yeah. you'll learn that when those little brightly coloured things that buzz yeah. a little bit yeah. approach him. Hopefully you're you know, scared of it. it runs yeah, away from it. Exactly. And, and look, this is the age where they learn those sort of things. Yeah. And unfortunately, you know, in, in the end, it may actually be a positive thing that he's, he's had this and, yeah. and learns to, to not approach them. It just shows you, you can't wait around until the next day to see if these things are going to sort themselves out. Jeff acted straight away. As a result, Buddy's alive and one very lucky dog. But look, if you're worried about him tonight, give me a call. Oh, well, he'll be fine. Sweet ass. Okay. No worries. And you sleep well, right? <laughs> Thanks a lot, Chris. No worries. I'll see you later. Ready? <laughs> Hello. Good boy. This is a little bugger that caused so much drama to our little boy, our dog. Drop it. Drop it. What's happening, Millie? <laughs> you could see it all sort of swelling over in his but throat, so we didn't think we'd make it. We so thought we'd been given the most precious gift in the world, and at the same time, we we're going to lose our little boy, so it was horrible. It's the only thing on the fridge is Chris's number and a photo of Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Thank God for Chris. That's right, yeah. Without him, we wouldn't have a dog. We picked her up on Saturday from a breeder in Canberra. Um, brought her home the first day, she's very bouncy, playing with everything. Um, but then she's gone downhill from there. Mark's been sleeping next to her at night time and I've been having Because we time thought maybe distress was one of the problems, because she would cry a lot at night. We're not supposed to go to her when she cries, but um, she when, she, when she gets better, we'll, be, we'll give her a bit of tough love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Kiko. Hi. 
Oh, is that how I pronounce it? Yeah. Kiko? Yeah. We picked her because she's Japanese and she's a Japanese bit. Oh, gorgeous and it means girl. delight. Rejoice. Now come through. Now what's been going on with her? Bought her home on Sunday, she cried all night, but Mark slept next to her. Yeah. She had three meals on Monday. Mm -hmm. um, she slept in the bathroom, but she was very distressed. She peed in her bed, mm -hmm. and she still had diarrhea. Um, Wednesday, yesterday was my first full day back at work, but I've had a puppy sitter come in every afternoon, so today wow, I missed good today. mum and dad. <laughs> you were spoiled one. <laughs> huh? um, and I'm glad I did, because mm -hmm. he rang me today and said she, she doesn't look very good. Mm -hmm. She looks worse than yesterday. Um, so there was still um, diarrhea then, and there was blood in a pool of mist, and it was about that much. Okay. okay. And when I got home today after the puppy sitter had seen her. Oh, so the puppy sitter was today, not yesterday? Today and yesterday. Okay, both days, okay. Um, there was urine on the ground, and I, tried, I looked really dark to me, so I had cotton wool balls, and I just put it in it, and it was like really dark, like almost brown, mm -hmm. chocolatey colour. Nicole and Mark are very devoted parents. Kiko is their first baby. Nicole's been keeping a diary of her. They've hired babysitters. They are really proud parents, but unfortunately now they're very worried parents because Kiko's got a big fight ahead of her. Now, what have you been feeding her? Same as what the breed would um, think. So there's been no raw meat? <laughs> no. Um, no dairy? No dairy. And she hasn't really been outside unsupervised? Yep. Never. No, never. The biggest concern is because they're so tiny is they can become dehydrated really, really quickly. So her gums are a little bit dry, which is a sign of, of dehydration. And the fact that she hasn't um, been keeping food down from the mouth and out the bottom yeah. and not eating, it means that she's not getting glucose and she's not getting fluids. And, and those are the two biggest killers in, in a young puppy. And often a really good sign of dehydration is how flat they are. So I'll just take a look at her and then we can have a chat about what we need to do. Thanks. She's definitely not acting like a puppy. She's really lethargic. She's weak. She's lost all her energy and a puppy should be full of beans and she's pretty flat. So you think it's just dehydration? Well, I guess we need to run some blood tests. So that way we can check her glucose, we can check her liver enzymes and, yep. and look for signs of inflammation, check if she's dehydrated. Yep. And then what she really needs is, is to go on a drip. In a puppy of, of her age and her size, the most common thing is some sort of an infection. So whether it's a bacteria or a virus, their immune systems are really underdeveloped. So any time that they change environments or, or um, are exposed to other dogs or, or new situations, their, their immune system's gonna be challenged with all these infections. And, and sometimes it's just too weak to fight back. And um, that's when they get sick like this. Dehydration can be a killer in a dog of her size. Basically, all the fluid's been sucked out of her body and been lost in her diarrhea and vomit. And if we don't treat that, it can cause her body basically to shut down. All right, Kiko. Hey, let's get you sorted, little lamb. Oh, she's so tiny. Let's see what you weigh. There you go. One point three nine kilos. Oh my goodness! There's nothing of you. Are you gonna be brave? Are you gonna be brave? Oh, real funny noise now. Yeah. So right now we're going to take some bloods to run some tests. Hello. Alright, little one. You ready for a sting? Three, two, one. Okay. Okay. I just hate doing this because if she moves and I've got a needle right there, I, there are lots of important body parts around that I do not want to stick a needle into, so. You talk to Beck. Hey, Annie. You're a guess, you're all right. All right, take two. Looking for another go. Good baby. Good well done. Perfect. Oh, he's a good girl. Did you just want to cuddle? All right, let's check what her glucose is. Oh, 
sure that's low. She's got a blood glucose of 1.4. With the blood sugar that low at the moment, that would cause signs of exactly what she's doing now. So really flat, lethargic. If it drops lower, if it drops below one, she's going to be at risk of seizures. So we need to get some IV glucose into her to prevent that from happening. You've got to give glucose pretty slowly when you give it IV. Puppies are such fragile little things. I mean, we are so much bigger than them. She, she's 1.4 kilos, so we've got to be so careful with the amount of drugs we give her, the amount of fluids we give her. Everything has to be exact because there is so little room for error with these guys. little lamb. Hey, come here, let's put your drip on. Let's put your drip on. There you go. Right now I've got her on IV fluids and there's glucose in the drip bag, so that's going to stabilise her. But in the meantime, we've got to run those blood tests to work out if there's any other clues as to what's causing her problems. Ooh. This has suddenly got much more serious for little Kiko. Initially I thought it was just a fairly non-specific gastroenteritis and now she's got actually one of the horrible complications of gastro which is low protein. So she's going to need a plasma transfusion. Plasma is the clear part of the blood with the red cells taken out and it's got lots of protein in it and we give it to her through her IV catheter as a drip and hopefully that will increase the levels. Because um, Kiko is so small, she only needs 14 mils of plasma. Most dogs will need a whole bag of it and I have to just give her such a tiny amount because she's so little. There you go. Got your plasma. We've got so much tubing going on here. Um, basically, she's getting her fluids with her glucose and she's having a plasma transfusion. Um, we're not going to really know much until a few hours time and I'm really hoping that what we're doing makes a difference. We've just done another blood test. It's been 12 hours now and we're checking a protein level and it it's only come up a little bit, not very much at all. Now, the best way for her to get her protein levels up is to actually eat and to keep the food down. That's the natural way of doing it. And, and if she doesn't, if she continues to vomit or she's not interested in the food, she's going to need another plasma transfusion. Hey, little mouse. Do you want a bit of chicken? Somebody loves chicken, come here. This is exactly what I wanted. Fingers crossed that that stays in her tummy. No, 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 don't eat that. Don't eat that. Don't eat that, that is just disgusting. No, 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 that is really not gonna help you get better. That is just revolting. <laughs> she just past diarrhea and then tucked into it. So, um, yeah, <laughs> that's not going to help her recovery at all and I'm just going to remove this out of sight. <laughs> it's such a letdown because I really thought that she'd be going home tomorrow and it's just this up and down motion of puppies with gastro and, and we've just got to give her more time. Hello, you look better. You look better. Still, still it's quite unsure of her surroundings. And yeah, it? no, she's. Oh, it's a, it's very scary for her to yeah. to be here and oh, and yeah. okay, so. Mm. Oopsie. Oh. Oh. oh, that was the last thing. <laughs> oh. I just had a heart attack. No flying off tables, huh? You don't need broken legs as well. I guess I just start to think about when I've had gastro. Oh no, it's revolting. <laughs> so, you just hang in there, baby girl. Aww. It's 
been a roller coaster for this little girl, and sadly, Kiko won't be going home until I'm certain that she's recovered from this. She just needs a little bit more, more time, time. And, and then you'll beat it, hey? Yeah. Hey? Oh, my God. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Shh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you're really going to hate me. Are we friends? Are we friends? She's just turned the corner. She's done a formed stool, which is excellent. There's been no more vomiting. She's been eating really well. And yeah, she's ready to go home. It's great. Look at that! Oh, hello, Bobby! I'm coming home! You want your pizza yeah, taking with go, the vet? Go to your girls. Go <laughs> to your <laughs> saviour. evil vet, so I've been labelled. <laughs> no, it's hey? just my thing. Yeah. Ready? Cuddles. She's a nice lady vet. Everyone who's going to play with her for the next week is going to get dead get old. Get old. Get old. Hand rub first. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, guys. Thanks Bye. again. See ya. If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below that way.